Hey everybody, and welcome to my unscented kitty litter do-it-yourself face mask. Wait, what? Cat litter? Really? Cat litter, as you may not know, is actually made from bentonite clay, formed from the weathering of volcanic ash and used to use as a base for many skincare formulas. It's also known to be very absorbent and act as a purifier. It's also a common ingredient in detox and cleansing products. Bentonite clay actually carries a very strong negative charge, which bonds to the positive charge in many toxins. Therefore, it flushes out the toxins. So my skin has been really down in the dumps lately. It's just horrible. I haven't been sleeping and I've been having major headaches and I've been kind of cheating on my clean eating. So I have really poor skin right now. It's kind of dry and I have blemishes all over and it's just not looking really as it should be. Um, so I was definitely looking for something to just give me a boost. So with some inspiration from Michelle Fawn, I took her up on this kitty litter do-it-yourself face mask. And so I'm just here with my cat litter, fresh bag of cat litter unopened. And I looked specifically for minimal ingredients with natural, natural sodium bentonite. And it just has some baking soda in it also. So let's just get started. I'm just gonna open my bag, fresh bag of kitty litter, and I'm gonna need a microwavable dish and a tablespoon. Measure, it was upside down. And I'm gonna be using two scoops, so two tablespoons. And next, I'm just gonna be adding some water. And you don't really have to measure it out, but you're just gonna pour it in and give it a mix. And you don't wanna pour too, too much. So here you can just see the water and I'm just gonna start mixing it. And you want it like an even consistency. It's gonna look like mud. Mine look, had a little bit more chunks in it, but you want it to have that extra little bit of liquid just not too runny and here I'm just gonna take my hair back I want everything out of the way because I don't want to get none of this sticky okay well it's not really sticky but muddy cat litter concoction all up in my hair so I'm gonna don a headband I actually got this at the thrift store for 60 cents and it's Lululemon it was just sitting there and I took it home washed it perfect Anyways, so I have my hair back. I just have to switch my hairband because my other one wasn't holding. So I'm really excited and it's actually my first time trying this. So what you're gonna do is heat the mixture up in the microwave for 20 seconds. And what you can see here is it still has a little bit of moisture on the top and I'm gonna pat my fingers in here and I'm just gonna lightly dab it on my face. You just want the moisture, like the liquidy portion of it, you don't want to goop it all on there and you're just gonna dab it lightly because you really want to treat your skin as a flower petal. Your skin is very sensitive. You don't want to get any of the big chunks in there and scrape around your face because it'll just leave it sore and irritated. You just want to treat it nice and gentle. And avoid the eye area because your eye area is even more sensitive and you don't want to take any of the moisture from that area as it barely has any anyways. <laughs> so just lightly applying this. Less is always more. In a very careful manner. 
and I did apply it to a little bit of my neck area but you can always just do your face nice and even and yes so that's 20 seconds in the microwave you don't want it too hot you just want it warm enough to open up your pores so they take in the mask so here is what it looks like when I first put it on it's nice and even and you want to wait about uh, about 15 minutes or just wait until the whole mask is dry so this is what it looks like it's just about dry and this is the tightest mask I've ever had it is so tight I could barely smile I could barely move I thought it was gonna crack and it just it feels really good it you can feel it tightening you can feel a little bit of a tingling sensation not overly like some some drugstore masks they really sting my face but this actually felt so nice it was like it was just nice and protected almost like very held in place and extremely stiff and you can feel it working which is awesome and here's a couple of I was fooling around pretending to be a zombie because that's what I felt like I looked like with the mask on. So right after I took it off, this happened. My face turned like a tomato and I actually freaked out. I wasn't sure if I burnt my skin or if I had an allergic reaction, but I texted my friend who is an esthetician and works in a spa environment and she said, Deep detox cleansing facial masks can actually bring flush to your face for a while. And she recommended an oatmeal egg white mask if it didn't go away. But I just flushed it with some cold water and a little bit of aloe vera. And this is what it looks almost an hour after. My skin feels so, like, so clean, insanely clean. And the redness is almost gone, if not all gone. And it just feels great. I absolutely loved the feeling of the mask. It didn't irritate on, so that's why I was a little shocked when it got really red. But you could definitely tell that my pores felt like they were sucked out or something. <laughs> it feels really good. So after you've done the mask, don't forget to moisturize and you're all set. So thanks to Michelle Fawn for the inspiration and thank you so much for watching. And if you like this tutorial, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.